Hey guys, how you doing? Day two, video number three. I thought uh, I'd keep you guys up to date, the people that were interested in knowing more about my uh, rehabilitation on a pretty serious knee oh, injury that I did yesterday on my mountain bike. It's unusual, isn't it? <laughs> Look, I love sports, I love surfing. I broke my back in my teenage years bodyboarding. Um, I love snowboarding, yeah, I love surfing, love um, love mountain biking, and I love doing a lot of extreme things. It's pretty fun, but uh, this one's definitely more of an extreme thing. It's just, yeah, a bit of a bit of a, a sore one. So, from yesterday, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd share with you what I've been doing. So, I was mentioning yesterday in the video, I was talking a little bit about how uh, old school, how outdated the rice method is for helping to reduce pain, swelling, all that sort of stuff. So, rest, ice, compression. And elevation, um, a protocol that's been been around since 1978, but it's a little bit outdated now. And even the guy that created it even says so as well. Especially when it comes to ice and compression. So let me explain a little bit here. So what I'm at here is just that um, since last night I stopped doing the rice method when I got home. When I managed to get myself home from uh, where I injured myself because it was quite tough. I needed to be able to make it easy for me to get home without pain. Got home, uh, had an ice bath for just for the leg and then I stopped. Um, and then basically since then, what I've been doing is instead of actually putting cold stuff and compression on it, I'll talk more about this bandage that's on here now in a sec. Instead of putting a lot more of that there on there to actually slow down the whole process, I'm letting it be free. I'm letting it actually inflame. I'm letting the body do its job. It's been doing it for a gazillion years. It's primal, you know, so me being Mr. Primal Man, I want the body to be able to do what it's been designed to do for a very long time. Swelling is, waste products essentially from the process of going through and helping to fix up the actual injured the injured joint or the injured muscle. So what I've basically been doing, instead of slowing everything down, I've been using things like um, a, a massage gun and some lymphatic massage um, drainage and things like that exact, exactly for that purpose to be able to help. You've got you basically got these two systems that are pretty important when it comes to this. You've got the circulatory system, which brings in all of your nutrition, all of the, the things that you need to be able to help make it better. So the groceries, I like the analogy of groceries in, uh, garbage out. And then the lymphatic system is basically what basically works to bring the garbage out. So all of the all of the stuff that's swelling up. So if I just keep compressing it. And, and putting cold stuff onto it, it's going to slow down the whole process. But if I contract muscles around it to help actually pump the lymphatic system and the uh, circulatory system more, it's going to help it repair faster. That's that's basically the goal. Now, the thing is, is that I don't just have a normal swelling thing going on here. I've, I've actually got a fair bit of pain going on within my knee. Um, so last night was a pretty challenging night because I didn't have any any drugs. Um, you know, I didn't take it, but I'll take that back. <laughs> I didn't have any pharmaceutical drugs like Nurofen and ibuprofen. Um, I actually did use though CBD oil. So thank you, Sean Crust, for the CBD oil that you um, you gave to me to try out there months ago, mate. It was an absolute treat last night. So I, I slept very quickly straight afterwards. I did wake up twice to go to the toilet, which was a real pain in the butt because I don't usually do that and it, and it interrupted my sleep and my repair time. Sleep time is where all the repair basically is you know, happening so much, especially when you have so much time to allow your, your body to be more inert and not moving around and causing more pain. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I woke up in the middle of the night and had to take it again. Uh, after I went to the toilet, but it got me straight back to sleep. Five drops of this stuff, Sean, it's magic, love it. Um, uh, and then, um, so then since then though, today though, I had uh, a new friend come around uh, who's been a physiotherapist for 10 years. She's also counseling and also doing Ayurvedic work. I needed someone to help me to diagnose this. I don't have the skill sets that a physiotherapist does to be able to do that sort of stuff, especially when it comes to the complexity of the knee and knowing um, if I've torn something um, or if I've broken something, but we, we basically came to the conclusion that it's just so freaking swollen and so sore right now, it's too hard to be able to know what's going on. So um, the next step though really is for me to go and get an MRI to really then know, have I torn something? Is anything flapping around? Is anything broken? So then I can then know what the next steps are in in my rehab journey. So. Um, 
So essentially for now, really though, the biggest things that I need to work on are the primal six, the foundation principles of health. So your thoughts, your mindset, because I had been replaying the injury a lot in my head and I did, <laughs> I did find myself waking up a little bit at night going through the dream of what had happened and it wasn't serving me. So mindset work, um, breath work, definitely gonna be doing some Wim Hof work and things like that. Drinking tons of water, uh, the movement that I'll be doing, at least for, to, to keep my mind sane, is to do a lot more upper body work, um, so I can at least keep fit and healthy in that respect. Um, and then, uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, nutrition, eating, just eating like a, an absolute beast, so that the nutrition that I put in here is recreating my need the way that it should be. And then the last one being sleep, doing anything and everything that I can do to get good quality sleep. So, uh, so just sort of share that all there with you guys. I've also been using Swiss balls sitting on these a lot more so that I can actually move my pelvis a lot more and same thing, keep the pumping of fluid backwards and forwards into my leg. Um, and also I used a, a thing today where I have my uh, a band that I use for stretching hamstrings. I've just been putting that around my calf or my toes and pulling that backwards and forwards just to keep the, the movement of, uh, of blood and lymph lymph fluid up and going up and down my leg to do its job. So I hope that uh, I hope that makes sense guys and look forward to talking to you more about once I've had my MRI. Hey, can you turn that off for me?